Hello, Chris Salerno here with The Curious Dentist, and I'd like to talk to you about my open tray impression technique for impressioning dental implants. I'm going to be showcasing the NEOS system, which is one of my favorite systems out there. Here you see I'm removing the healing abutment, which with this system is made out of peak material, very tissue friendly, it's not metal. So once I have that removed, I'm going to take the retentive element of my impression coping and insert a pin, which has a plastic tube on top. That really sticks up by a mile, really clears the, uh, the open tray, which you'll see in a moment. So I take those two pieces, which make up my impression coping, and I'm rotating until I feel that fully seat. What I really like about this system also is that that component will only tighten down if it's fully seated. If it's not fully seated, it just spins around. Now that's nice. It means I don't have to take a bite wing radiograph to confirm that the system has been fully seated. So you see here I'm tightening that down and then I'm going to be ready to go. What I'll begin by doing is taking a stock tray and just making sure that that, that fits. It's the right size tray for the arch of the patient. And I'm also looking to see where, roughly where that impression coping is in relation to the rest of the arch. And you can see here I've now created a hole using an acrylic burr and I'm going to then reinsert that tray into the mouth and make sure that I put the hole in the right place first of all but also just practice a couple times inserting this so that the impression sticks through as you see it right there. And as you can see again that plastic tube really clears by a, by a mile which is great. Now I'd like to seal up that hole so I'm going to use tin foil and some sticky wax. Why do I seal it up? Why not just take the impression? Well, my rationale for that is, and what a lot of people do, is I just don't like having that impression material splurge out all over the place. And by putting some tin foil and adapting that to the tray, and then keeping that in place with some sticky wax, I'm making sure I retain that impression material and hug it right up against the impression coping. So theoretically, it's a little more accurate, but I can certainly tell you it's a lot less messy. And you can see my, my finished product here. So we're ready to go. I'm going to have my Im syringe of impression material that I am placing all around the implant. I want to make sure I get all of that detail. And at the same time, I have my tray getting filled with impression material. And so again, I practiced placing that in a few times. I'm going to now insert the tray and I'm remembering where that plastic tube is going to stick out. And as you'll see here, it pokes right through. Terrific. Now that's going to stay in for a few minutes until it fully sets. Once it's fully set, I can just break that plastic tube off, or as you see here, I can just pull the plug of impression material out from inside and then unscrew the tray that way, which is my preferred method. And once I have that unscrewed, I can pop out the impression. As you see, my impression coping has been retained. So that's the open tray technique. Thank you for watching, and I want to say special thanks to my friends at Murata for their use of their recording equipment.